And welcome back to The Factor on Sensit. Brides and grooms often strive to look their very best on their wedding day, a very special day. But some of these weight loss drugs that are out there may be causing more of a headache for the people making those wedding dresses. So, guys, I hear that uh, wedding dress makers are pulling their hair out because so many women out there are losing weight on many of the diabetic drugs that we know about, like Wigovi and, of course, Ozempic. So, Crystal, I, I think you may be in part responsible getting all these ladies thin out there. Hey, man, <laughs> this, is a, this is a Mush RX. Is it a bad problem for people to have to spend a little bit more money to look good in a uh -huh. special day? So let me just say, coming from someone who's been married, going to get married is a big deal. I mean, you have a lot going on. I wasn't on Zipic, and I lost nearly 15 pounds just now from the pure idea of the wedding, you know? Mm -hmm. Mr. McClain, your thoughts on this and, and, and the wedding dress uh, makers complaining like, okay, now I have to adjust this dress. All I'm going to say is they... Damn Ozempic. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Goddamn Ozempic. It's gotten people out here losing their minds. And the thing about it is, I get it. I, it. I guess I'm always trying to figure out, you know, we're always looking to be perfect. And so when do you get to the point where perfect just isn't the goal, right? So mm -hmm. we're getting married. You know, you're not, they're not dropping one dress size. I'm, we're talking three to four dress sizes. Right. And the average gown generally, depending on your budget, can cost anywhere between at a minimum of maybe a thousand dollars up to 50, maybe even sixty thousand dollars. And having to have somebody go in and adjust and take that beautiful gown and the embellishments that are on it. So you have to basically go in and have a whole new dress. You're right. And, and we're hearing that it takes anywhere from eight months to 10 months to make that dress or at least that's how much time you need to give the dressmaker eight to 10 right. months, according to a website. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. I mean, and you have to. Re we have a lot of great designers here in the state of Texas. I, I, one of a young lady, I cannot think of her name, but she makes some amazing gowns out of Dallas. And I've seen her with some of my clients uh, take the, take these dresses. She does. She does. She's done a bunch of weddings, but she often does like a lot of uh, beautiful galas and stuff like that. And to have somebody go in and they're a size 16 or even a size 12 and drop to a size eight after her putting the idea together, getting the fittings done. I mean, you, this is something you're continuously doing. So once you're going for your first fitting, you know, you have to be really cognizant about what you decide to do uh, in, as far as your body. Because again, once you get on the Ozempic and all of these other amazing drugs that are helping people get their weight under control, it's just like you can lose a person. Like, again, we don't realize how much we consume until we get on something that's kind of taking our appetite away. And then, Crystal, have you seen individuals who have come to you specifically to lose weight for a wedding? Absolutely. We get the males and the females wanting to look good on their wedding day, but it also goes back to having a really good relationship with your provider and mm -hmm. telling us, hey, we have a wedding coming up and I want to look good. I want to be trimmed. One of the first conversations we have is, have you been fitted for your wedding gown? Because these drugs, you can lose 12 to 20 pounds in one month alone. Wow. And so we just really have to have that understanding before you get on one of these drugs mm -hmm. so that you make sure that we're not having this incident. But, you know, it's one of those things where it's not just vanity and looks, it's also health as well. So if we're dealing yeah. with health issues, I wouldn't discourage anyone not to do a weight loss drug. You know, when we're talking about heart attack, thyroid, hormones, and these other things that play a role, it's also a good um, conversation that needs to be had in the beginning. Absolutely. Well, we want to thank you guys both for joining us here on The Factor on Censored. And Crystal, <laughs> thank you for pissing off many of the wedding <laughs> dress makers out there as He's a part of the problem. helping so many people. <laughs> Mr. McClain, thank you for your fashion expertise. Thank you, guys. Devo says she's a problem.